Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakaf Kadash. Double honors to the elders of GMS who were well. Peace and salutations to the Akim on the four corners, pushing truth and sincerity. Peace be unto you. And Shalom. Now, I want to get into this whole anti Christ or anti Hamashiach and what it is, what it's not. Because we think of the anti the anti Christ as being big bad, evil meanie, spiritual demon Satan. Now anybody can be because there's not just one. Anybody can be an antichrist. This is Second John chapter one and verse seven. For many deceivers. Now the pause right there. What does the word devil mean? Now, if you follow GMS long enough, because uh, unlike other camps, you know, we go into words and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into this word right now, which is Diablos. The word deceiver and devil are the same. The word devil means deceiver. That's what a devil is. That's exactly in the Satan means adversary. You know, just to point that out. So getting a little bit of understanding for those who might not. This is second John chapter one, verse seven for many deceivers, which you can also interchange with devils are entered into the world who confess not that Yahweh shy. Hamashiach is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. So there's not just one, there's many people. These antichrists can come in the forms of, you know, a person that is an Israelite. Maybe they don't believe in Old Testament, I mean, New Testament. Maybe they could have the, the, the biggest fringes in the world, the longest garment, the uh, perfect Sabbath keeping, you know, uh, all that. <clears throat> but he's an antichrist. He's anti Hamashiach. He's anti Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> you know, an uh, anti, uh, anti uh, Christ can also be in a form of. A person that's in Hinduism. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, you know, uh, Jamal from up the block that used to be in prison, and he changed his life around and, and got into Hindu, and now he just performs yoga and helps the kids and feeds them and stuff like that. Yeah, he's antichrist. Doesn't care about how good it's just people when they think of the word antichrist. Because when you think about one of them, you're only looking out for one. So. And they also think this Antichrist is supposed to be, you know, because he's a deceiver. So you got people who are going to basically, they're just going to, people think they're going to, you know, Antichrist is going to be the big guy, you know, with a pitchfork, you know, just causing hell and heavy. That's not a, that's not a good deceiver. The best deceiver is the one that, that the wolf that comes in the sheep clothing. I'm going to tell you some antichrists that they're on YouTube. Sa Netter, Sa Nigga is an antichrist. Polite is an antichrist. Um, I want to say Pastor Ray Hagens, I believe that's his name. Antichrist. Um, uh, who else are some more notable ones I'm thinking of? Uh, young Pharaoh, Shaka Amos. You know, all these guys are antichrist. 
read, read verse 8 now. 2 John chapter 1, verse 8. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Whosoever transgresseth and abide not in the doctrine of Hamashiach hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Hamashiach, he hath both the Father and the Son. Now, you notice what scripture says, scripture says, he, when two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the mystery. But the two or three that gather, they both have to have <clears throat> abide in the doctrine of Hamashiach. They both have to have God. You know, you think God's about to come in the midst of, you know, you know, three, three antichrists gathering together, three, a house full of weed smokers shooting up heroin. You think God's like, oh, here I am. I'm in the midst. No. Two or three are gathered. There I am in the mystery, meaning when you got two or three believers that are following the doctor, doctrine of Hamashiach, then they have the father and the son. That's when he's in the midst of the. And people in the world that associate with just a whole bunch of niggas, they don't know what it's like to be in the midst, have Yahweh Shai in the midst of them. You know, this is a, something special that we experience. <clears throat> Verse 9. Ten, if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him Godspeed. For he that biddeth him Godspeed is partaker of his evil deeds. <clears throat> so these antichrists that come by the way, you know, you're not supposed to, you know, chill, kick it, fellowship with them. You know, this is a person just coming by and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that Hebrew is like cool thing. But let me let me uh bring some of the Scientology to you. You know, you know, we can iron sharpen iron. No, you don't bid that guy speak. Now. That doesn't mean that a person that doesn't have, you know, the truth. That you don't teach them that genuinely doesn't know like one of the lost sheep. That doesn't mean that. You know, that means, you know, somebody who. Has a whole another agenda. Verse 11. For he bideth for he biddeth them God him Godspeed is partaker of his evil deeds. Uh. Uh, that's it on that. Uh, but basically, this whole lesson is what an anti, the antichrist is, and how to look out for antichrist, how to interact with an antichrist, which you don't at all. You know, <clears throat> especially for you brothers that are younger in the in the uh, faith. You end up talking with a guy that's an antichrist, and then all of a sudden, you know, he overpowers and overtakes you, and then now all of a sudden, you teaching the same thing he teaching. That's why it says, verse 11 says, he that biddeth him God speak is partaker of his evil deeds. It just be a matter of time before you end up, you know, chilling and kicking. I remember we call him Kevin. He was in our camp. He left, he said that he would be, uh, you know, he would bid, you know, uh, the other fallouts of our camp, Godspeed. You know, he would say what up to him and everything. And he left out. He joined them. He was partaking of their evil deeds. And now they're not even a unit no more. They don't go out. They don't gather any fruit. They're basically email me prophets. That's all they are, you know, and that's why, you know, you don't you want to make sure who if you you make sure you some people that abide in that doctrine, you got to know, you know, you got to test them, to see if they're their prophets or not. You got some people that come out and just say anything and have full pride. 
come out with any doctrines. You know, I'm Joseph. You know, the Passover is on my birthday and all the type of dumb, stupid shit. So they got to abide in the doctrine. They can't be coming up with their own doctrine. So that's one thing you got to be careful of. They start switching at everything. Look at uh, Izar, heel hook Esau. He started dropping, you know, all the oil. Didn't believe in the New Testament. Didn't believe in the Old Testament. Didn't believe in the pocket for all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, the nigga just fell completely the fuck off. You know, on that note, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakudash. That belongs to the LGMS. We were well. Peace and salutations. And shalom.